morning students today we will do the optional exercise uh, even it is written on the optional but uh, the questions are actually important that's why i'm telling you a few questions from this exercise look at uh, question number one question says the ages of two friends ani and biju differ by three years ani's father is twice as old as ani and biju's biju is twice as old as uh, his sister kathy the ages of kathy and dharam differ by 30 years find the ages of ani and biju okay what the final sentence called find the ages of ani and biju so we start a problem right there let present age of ani be x years and present age of biju is y years and actually questions have lots of options because it is written ani and biju and the, the ages is differ by 3 meaning difference of these two ages is equal to 3 so might have uh, a problem in uh, here that who is elder either x or y sometimes it is trouble the question is not clear about that the ages of ani and biju differ by 3 years So what is the meaning of that? X minus Y is equal to three. It may possible it is Y minus X is equal to three. So who is elder than both? That is important. It should be known. It should be known. So okay, we consider that Ani is elder than Biju. So as per first condition of the question, they are differ by three. So we put it as first condition. First equation. Now the next is. Ani's father, Dharam, is twice as old as Ani. Now a new person include here. That again, according to question, according to question, Ani's father is twice as old as Ani's age. Ani's age is x. So father's age is equal to two x. Meaning Ani's father, Dharam, is equal to two x years. old and and for the read the biju is twice as and biju's age is twice as old as sister's kathy kathy try to understand the language so new per two person here joined first dharam who is a father of the father of the ani and the kathy who is a sister of biju so according to the problem that dharam is twice as old as the ani's age which is 2x2 uh, which is x meaning 2x years and biju is twice as old as look at here it is written and uh, biju is twice as old as his sister kathy biju is twice as old as his sister kathy so i would ask you one thing what is the biju's age it is a y Is equal to two into Kathy's age. So what is it? Kathy's present age or Kathy's age is equal to y by two, y by two. So I would say that the age of the okay, it is good enough. The other age is two x year old and Kathy's age is y by two years old. So by these two, or according to question, here two different person included Ani's father and Biju's sister. And according to the question, now we have found their present ages two x and y by two. And as per question again, again what result is the ages of Kathy and Dharam differ by thirty years. Now difference between these two is equal to thirty years. Again the conditions is uh, um, a bit tough because it is written first the name of Kathy and then the next second Dharam. So who it would be written first? That is a different thing. Okay, you can take anything. Suppose I am taking the Dharam who is a father. Is it elder than the Kathy sister? It is still dilemma that who is elder. So okay, I am taking two x minus y by two. I am supposing that he is a elder than this one. So okay, the differ by thirty year, thirty year. The ages of Kathy and Dharam differ by thirty year. So I have written the ages 
the difference of the ages is equal to 30 years. I would try. Let's see what answer comes. Now we have a obviously that second equation we can form from here by just taking the LCM. 2 to the 4x minus y is equal to upon 2 will transfer that side will be 60. So now 1 and 2 we have equations and we do try to solve 1 and 2 x minus y is equal to 3 and 4x minus y is equal to 60. 60. Let's see what happened now. It is uh, both looking, uh, this is minus and it is minus and it is. it seems easy. So I'll change the sign by using subtraction, minus plus minus, I have changed the sign, both cancel, 4x and 3x will be minus 3x and this is going to be minus 57. So x is equal to minus 57 upon minus 3 which is equal to I think uh, 19. So this is x what on his edge we got, x equal to 19 here. And what is y? One can easily find by 1. x minus y is equal to 3. Put here x minus y is equal to 3. y is equal to definitely 16. The 16 y, meaning we choose age, this we got 16. So, uh, you know, still I would say uh, one uh, difficulty or one problem may be in language because I wrote here Dharam's age initially, but according to question, it was the difference between the Cathy and Dharam it was written. So one might have taken uh, y by 2 minus 2x is equal to 30. It's just a uh, problem. You can try from your side. You also can take y minus x equal to 3. But in the question, it is not particularly written. So that we have taken like that. Okay, these were the ages uh, we found. Now we'll move on to the next question. Look at. Question. Next question says. It is simple. Question number 2. It's very simple question. One says, two friends are talking here. One friend says, one friend, two friends are talking. One friend says, give me 100. Give me 100 rupees. Then I shall then become twice as rich as you. What simple meaning is, suppose that he is having rupees X and he is having rupees Y. And according to question says that first friend speak to the second, give me 100 rupees. So it's very automatically meaning that he would have x plus 100 rupees and he would have y minus 100 rupees because he took 100 rupees. His money extend, but he has given 100 rupees. So his money will decrease. So now they are having the money x plus 100 and y minus 100. And according to question, this friend says, give me 100, I will become twice as, uh, as rich as you, meaning this money will twice as rich as you. Hope this rough structure you are getting properly. Now this friend says, I will be twice as rich as you and this will give you first equation. Now what happened next? Next. Now the other replies. Other replies. This friend says, first friend now told, first condition we got. The second friend says, if you give me 10 rupees. Now he says that give me 10 rupees. So definitely the meaning of question, he would have y plus 10 and he must have x minus 10 because now he is getting 10 rupees. So his money will extend increased and he is giving 10 rupees so his money will decrease and now question says and the other other friend is uh, saying now speaking now question says i shall be six times as rich as you now we see second friend so his money will be six times as rich as you meaning this time he is saying that i shall be six times as, as rich as you so this equation now we will have and then after solving both equations we can find the answer so hope student this idea will give you uh, to lead this problem so do by your own these two equations i have explained that how we can create so now multiply get your proper linear equations and as you know, know that to how to deal to linear equations okay now we will move on third question third question seems actually important we have a two method to do third question 
actually uh, when we will study the quadratic equation for the chapter so we can solve this question from the the method uh, of quadratic equation but uh, we are knowing right now only the pair of linear equations so we do try to convert this situation in a pair of linear equation look at what happens here a train covered a certain distance at a uniform speed what look train covered a certain distance distance is not given at a uniform speed, speed is not given. If the train would have been 10 km faster, it would have taken 2 hours less than the scheduled time. Time is also not given. So all three variables are height, guys. And so that question is important. Now fill first sentence is, if train would have been 10 km per hour faster. It, it's simple meaning that when train will get fast, definitely it would reach at the destination bit before the time it would have taken two hours less than the scheduled time so whatever the time if you suppose that someone is going from Bhopal to Nagpur distance is 600 km 400 km and any train is going with 50 km per hour and reaching it in 8 hours from Bhopal to Nagpur. It's very simple common uh, example I have taken. Now, as, as far as the question concerned, distance is not changing. Look at the thing, distance will not change. When speed will change, what question says? When speed change, definitely it would reach early as uh, the scheduled time. If you concern the language, if the train would have been 10 km faster, this is just a, a simple example I took. But just don't try to connect this particular from the question. But I'm telling you what question says. When train gets faster, 10 km per hour, meaning the usual speed is 50, now it will get 60. So definitely train will reach to Nagpur soon. And according to question, it takes 2 hours less, meaning this time it was taking 8 hours, now it will take only 6 hours. So these situations we have to make in the equations actually. Now I'll take two things here two things here let the speed of the train usual speed usual speed of the train be x kilometer per hour and time taken taken by it to cover the distance is equal to y hours two things i have taken speed i have taken and the scheduled time I have taken. And I would simply ask you that, suppose this is a two places, a train is going from A to B with the speed x km per hour and it is taking y hours, I would ask you that what is distance it cover? What is distance it cover? So I would simply tell you, we know speed equal to distance upon time. So speed equal to x, distance I don't know, time is y. So multiply y here. So I would frankly say that x, y, kilometer. Now keep in mind that I can't take the third variable. So I took already x and y. So with the help of x and y, I got now distance. Distance. Now think, remember that this is a usual speed. This is a usual time. And this is now distance. According to question, what happens? So as per question, as per question, simple, new speed, what it will be new speed. I am not writing whole of the sentences. Look at Question says, when train gets 10 km per hour faster. So it was a usual speed. Now it will be x plus 10 km because it gets fast 10 km than before, than the usual speed. And what is the new timing? One should know that question says it would have reached 2 hours early as a scheduled time. According to the um, sentences of the question, what says it? Uh, uh, it would have taken 2 hours less than the scheduled time. So time was y hours, now it is y minus 2 hours. And what about the distances? Distance is only x, y because 2 places, 2 stations are not different. Only speed change only time change but distance is not change okay now i will use speed equal to distance upon time as usual speed now change x plus 10 distance is uh, as usual x y upon time is y minus 2 
Wow, this is very sympathy. Why there is two? Now do cross multiply here. Look at here. Look at here. X plus 10. X plus 10 into y minus 2. Cross multiply it is equal to x y. Multiply to x in center bracket. It is x y minus 2 x plus 10 y minus 20 equal to x y. One should clear that both x y will cancel. And what remaining finally? Minus 2 x plus 10 y minus 20 is equal to 0. Do transfer minus 20. That side only 2 x plus 10 y is equal to minus 20. Now can you reduce it? You can divide by 2 or minus 2. Because minus is being worse in front of x. Divide by minus 2. Student, what will happen? This is going to be x. This is going to be minus 2 5s are 10. And this is going to be minus 2 10s are. So student, this is very first equation you got from first condition. And that's going to be very easy. Now with second condition you can read and go with your... Now according to question, new speed you can read. Now, if the train was slower by uh, slower by 10 km per hour slower meaning it now gets less new speed initial speed was x km per hour now it gets reduced by 10 km per hour the new speed will be x minus 10 whatever new time definitely when train gets slower it will reach late at the scheduled time then the scheduled time now it would have taken 3 hours more than the scheduled time. Meaning, what are scheduled time? Y hours. Now it will take 3 hours more. Y plus 3 hours. Now these two situations, hope you are getting it. Now, train gets slower by 10 km per hour. Per hour. It would have taken 3 hours more than the scheduled time. So these two now condition we got. So speed equal to distance upon time. Speed now gonna be x minus 10. Distance is as usual x, y x y you remember x y here and what about timing it's y plus 3 do the cross multiplication you will have this situation multiply it to this x y plus 3 x minus 10 y minus 30 equal to x y as usual cancel 3 x minus 10 y now transfer to 30 that side 30 equation number 2 now it is not a decreasing or deducing by a dividing by any number so that we leave right here if we would have this and this equations you are familiar, friendly with this, uh, uh, to, to, to attend these equations, you can take it and get answer. X and Y. So, student, do by your own now, because this is nothing hard now. So, this is important question, as far as the exam is concerned, you do by your own. Let's move on the, another question. Question number 4 is again very easy. Let me discuss with you this question. The students of the class are made to stand in a rows. Three students are extra in a row, there will be one row less. If three students are less in a row, there will be two more rows. Find the number of students in the class. I would first tell you simple practical thing that suppose, suppose in a prayer, in a prayer, suppose there are six rows. One, two, three, four, five, six. And in each, suppose... Eight students are standing in each. Eight students. So very simple thing. When you know the number of rows. When you know the students are standing in each row. Eight. You can multiply. Eight six are 48. Number of students will be 48. 48. Okay. Now keep in mind again. When I. When I want to reduce the number of rows. So I would. I would extend the number of students in a each column. Suppose in second condition, if I say, now stand 10 students, two more students in each row. Two more students in each row. This time 8, it was 10 now. So definitely number of rows will decrease. In second situation, if I say that, if I say that, say number of students should be less, if they are getting less, so number of rows will be extended. So two things are coming. But I would say that number of how to find number of students. The so number of students only will be found by multiplying number of students in each row and number of rows. So these are multiplying number of students will come. How to find number of students? Number of students in each row and number of rows. If you multiply, you will get a number of students. So this particular idea will give you, will lead us to do this question. Now look at how to do this question. 
the student of class I made in the standard row. So I would write first let number of uh, rows are x and number of students in each row be y. Now I ask you that what is number of students in a school? Very simple. Number of row x and number of students in each row is y. So number of students will be x y. Now if you will decrease it will be increased. When you will increase it will be decreased. But number of students will be multiplying these two. Get on x y which is equal to x y. Because one time if you have found that number of students is x y so it is x y. Okay. Now according to first condition. Now look what says. If three students are extra in a row, what says three students are coming extra in a row, uh, then one row will less. According to question, number of new rows will be this time it is x. Question says is x minus one. When the number of students uh, in each row increased, this time why? The question says, in our, our three students are extra in a row, meaning now each row, three students are increased. So I taught you when students are increased, definitely row will be less. So three students are extra in each row, number of row will be less. One row is less according to question. So now tell me, number of students will be, you should know that. How to find number of students? This into this. Number of row and number of students in each row. When you multiply, you will get number of students. And what is the number of students? X, Y. So write here X, Y is equal to X minus 1 and Y plus 3. Multiply them. X, Y plus 3X minus Y minus 3 into X, Y. As usual, cancel. What 0 being here? 3X minus Y minus 3. Transfer to 3 that side. It is 3x minus y. Write it again in well manner. It is equation number 1. So I think according to question, these two changes you got. Again, I would write the same situation according to question. Now, what is it? Question, read question. What says? If three students are less in a row, there would be two more rows. Meaning, now this time number of rows will be two more rows. Meaning, x plus 2. And number of student in each row will be what says uh, three students are less in a row, there will be two more rows. Uh, less in a row, meaning this time it is y minus uh, 3. Three students are getting less in each row, rows will be extended by 2, x plus 2. Now number of students will be. How to find number of students? x plus 2 into y minus 3. It is xy because it is already got number of students xy is equal to x plus 2 and y minus 3. Multiply them xy minus 3 x plus 2y minus 6. Both xy cancel. 0 is being here 3x plus 2y minus 6. Transfer to minus 6 here. It is getting like that. I want to write it again 3x 2y is equal to 6. It is better. Equation number 2. Now solve first and second by your own and get your x and y. So these four questions were important. I made here. Tomorrow we will have a good day. Uh, further four questions we will try to discuss. Thank you.